The trade union bill now going through Parliament is one of the most vicious pieces of legislation that I've ever experienced in my time as General Secretary of Unison. It takes away our right to strike in our public services, especially in health and in schools. It will be impossible to reach the thresholds required in order to take action. If we, even if we get 50% of our members voting in the health service for action, that ballot must have an 80% majority in order for us to be able to take the action. And then we go on from there and we become the most regulated body in the whole of the Western world with the certification officer being able to look at all our books, how we spend our money, being able to look at our membership register, being able to bring in things that means that we cannot operate. And then we go on from there, and this is especially difficult for Unison. And what do we find? That our long-term relationships with employers, through which employers collect our union dues, Chekhov, Docas, they are to end. 8,400 agreements that we have voluntarily got with individual employers are to end. And in future, they will be, it will be unlawful for those employers to have a, an agreement with us and to collect the union dues on our behalf. We pay a commercial fee for these arrangements. Some branches pay up to 5%. And we've made it clear that we don't want the taxpayer to pay. We're more than willing to pay the commercial cost. But what is central government doing? Actually saying to local employers, 8,000 of them, that what they are doing is unlawful. And we will campaign to the nth degree to make sure that this legislation does not go through Parliament. We will seek to get it put down, we will seek to have it delayed, we will seek to dilute it. We will use every court in the land and in Europe to prevent it. We will work with community groups, we will work with liberty and amnesty. This is about human rights, not about trade union rights. And we will seek to kill this bill. But if the bill does go through, if we cannot get the changes that we want and we will work so hard to do that, well then we will be strong as a union and we will make sure that we stand by our members and we stay at one with them rather than in conformity with this legislation. And what we need you to do, we, what we need you to do more than anything is to join in our campaign at local level to stop this bill, to make sure that we can keep our check off and DOCAS arrangements. And yes, we want you to talk to employers. Yes, we want you to talk to politicians. Yes, we want you to talk to councillors. And we want to create a wave of opposition to this trade union bill and the ending of our DOCAS and Chekhov arrangements. And I believe that if we're strong, we can mount that campaign that will water down, if not negate, this bill completely. It is immoral, it is wrong, and we must stand firm and fight it all the way. And my message to you, more than anything, is that our union will remain strong. They will not defeat us. We will stay as a strong union long after this Tory government is a thing of the past. The work that you're doing is tremendous. And for this, I thank you. But we've got a big job ahead. And together, together, we've got to make sure that we stop this bill.